Hi everyone, I'm just doing a little bit of a rent video just to be a bit different. Now, a lot of you would have seen the issue with Great Scott where his footage was used from some of his videos by Gearbest in adverts, removed his watermark, claimed it as their own and used it without his permission, i.e. theft. Now, he sorted that issue out with them after he made, went public with it and then Gearbest sorted it out. Before he went public with it, they weren't fixing the problem, they weren't interested in fixing the problem as it would appear. Um, but once he did a video and made it really public to his one million subscribers that Gearbest aren't being very honest, um, suddenly they resolved the problem. Interesting how that happened, isn't it? Anyway, my issue is not so much about that. It's a spin-off from that whole circumstance. Now, I actually sent Dre Scott uh, the details of the person I'd be in contact with at Gearbest for the review stuff I'd done. So I'd actually try to send him that employee data. He did mention that in the video. He tried to contact an employee with no luck. And that is, would have been the information I'd sent him. Now, the issue I have is that as an affiliate, or associate as they call it, on Gangbust, Gang, Gang, Gang Bust is probably better actually, <laughs> Gearbest. Um, I have a link with them. I've driven traffic to the website, done reviews for them, that sort of stuff, right? Which is fine. That's what affiliates do, or associates, as they call it. And I've got relationships with various companies, and I've done this from time to time. You know, Banggood, certainly one of them, is one of my features mostly. I've done IC Station, AliExpress, JRC PCB, PCBay, all these other companies. Absolutely fine, no issues. And up until recently, Gearbest, you know, was okay. Hadn't had any issues as such myself. Now, because this great Scott fiasco, I decided that, hey, I don't want to deal with a company which will potentially steal your content, not give you any rights to it, take your, your watermarks off and claim it as theirs, um, and refuse to do anything about it unless you go public to a million people. Mm. Um, so I decided I don't want to have that relationship with Gearbest anymore in, in my affiliate link, associate link. And, you know, just remove all the links that I've got to their site, that sort of stuff. I wasn't going to do that. I was just going to end the, end the relationship, not publish any more links. Just keep the existing ones, which are in my videos. And I was going to leave all those alone. And withdraw my money from my associate account. All would have been fine. Sounds simple, doesn't it? Well, Gearbest have a policy where you can only withdraw $100 US or more from your account. Or you can get a $60 voucher. So you spend it on their site, okay? You can understand that, you know, so you're not doing little stupid little payments all the time to people. Don't have a problem with that particular policy, that's fine. Now the issue I have is that when I contacted them and said, look, I want to withdraw the money I've got in my account, which is only $36 US, right? So get this straight, this isn't about the money, it's about the principle of what's going on. I told them, look, I'm in my, my associate relationship with them, I don't want to do any more work for them. Um, that's going to be... You know, it's CC, I'm not going to be promoting them any further. And I want the money that's in my account to be paid to my PayPal account. Sounds simple, doesn't it? Uh, they refused. They said, no, you have to have $100. Summarising, obviously. All right. I said, so I replied to that email. I said, look, this isn't you know, an acceptable answer. I'm ceasing the relationship. There is going to be no more money coming in. And um, that that money I've got in that account is not going to grow. It's going to not, you know, not never going to reach a hundred dollar threshold. And that they need to give him the money because that is my money. That that's my earnings from helping promote them. And uh, if they don't give it to me, that is theft. Anyway, they replied again, said, no, it's our policy. And just copy and pasted the, the, the graph they have, or the, the, the table they have, which shows the thresholds of payments, which I'd already known about. And I would explain to them that I knew about that. When the very first email actually, I explained to them that I knew about that threshold thing and that this is different because I want to close my associate account and stop being an associate. And so therefore I should get paid out. And they basically refused that I won't give them the money which is owed to me for the work that I've done to promote their site and their business. The review money, the, the, the direct traffic I've driven to their website, the money which they've owed to me because of the agreement we have of me being an associate is that they pay me money for doing that work. They're not going to pay it to me. So the issue is, okay, so $36, it's not a lot of money, it's just a little bit of money, you know, it's not about that money. It's about the principle, they will not pay an associate the money they're due when, it's, when the relationship is finishing. So I wanted to sort of spread this out and say, look, 
if you're an associate of, of GearBest, or you're thinking about becoming an associate of GearBest, or a customer of GearBest, uh, don't do it. That's my recommendation. So because of the attitude towards me and towards what you know what they did with Great, Great Scott, I've now decided I've gone through and removed all the GearBest links every one of my videos. They are all gone. I no longer have a link to GearBest anywhere on my YouTube channel or anywhere else. They're gone. I've, told, I've removed them all. I do not want to drive any traffic to GearBest because I don't want people to use them and get ripped off. I'm trying to protect people from that. Now, when I first did the relationship with, with GearBest, I did get some comments on a couple of videos saying they're dodgy. You know, they had some issues with them. You know, things didn't turn up and they never got supported by customer support and that sort of stuff. And I thought, well, okay, that's just a thing to keep in mind. You know, I remember that little detail. Some people have had some problems. You're going to get problems from time to time. It's how they deal with the problems, which is the interesting part. So, why I'm right now is, well, GearBest is ripping me off. They're not paying me the money they owe me for the work I've done for them. Um, so they will steal from the associates by not paying them the money they have earned by sending them traffic. Think about that for a moment. So if you're an associate, I suggest you stop being one. Uh, if you're thinking about becoming one, don't. If you're thinking about buying from GearBest, don't. My opinion is that they are thieves. They will rip you off if they think they can get away with it. My opinion. So my recommendation is don't deal with them at all. I did a tweet on Twitter last night after that email where it's plain to me that GearBest were not going to pay me the money regardless of what I said to them regardless of circumstance. So I tweeted it on Twitter to EV Blog Dave and Great Scott and they both retweeted it for me to help spread the word that even an associate is not safe from GearBest not doing the right thing. That's all I've got to say. That's in this rant video. Thanks for watching. Hope you found it interesting. And make sure that if you know anyone which may be interested in this video, share it. Other creators, your friends who might want to buy things from GearBest, just share it around. I just want to make sure that everyone understands the kind of company they're dealing with. Catch you later.